Welcome to Uncle Nick Golf. I'm Uncle Nick, and today we are gonna get to know more about the man behind the man. All right, so the co-star of this channel, as you notice in most of the videos, is my dad. Now, my dad had overcome so much adversity. He overcame, obviously, two cancers. He is celebrating his one-year anniversary of post-surgery. It was a pretty invasive surgery and it was pretty serious. It was one year ago from this day. And my dad is awesome because he comes up with all these ridiculous inventions. I mean, I guess, you know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. This video is going to be about my dad. So I'm meeting him at Westlock, formerly the favorite golf course. And we're going to show some of his inventions, ask him some questions, and learn a little bit more about America's favorite uncle's dad, my dad. Let's go. What's up with that? What's up with that? All right, I'm here in the parking lot waiting for my dad. And right before we jump into the video, I'm going to show you a little bit about my invention. So this is my invention. This is an earth magnet. If you don't know what an earth magnet is, it's one of the strongest magnets on earth. And I have my ball markers here. So when I used to use the regular hat clip kind of magnets, it would fall off when I'm running or like kicking stuff in um, when I lose my temper, you know, stuff like that. But this, this ain't coming off. I can't even get this one off. It's one of my golf inventions. We're gonna learn about my dad's ridiculous golf inventions. What is your favorite golf course to play at? I like Whistler. Oh, right we're here. at Whistler. Yeah, Whistler. That's why I always come over here. Ever kind of hard. Uh, Hawaii Country Club is good, but too too much dirt and rocks. And um, why did you start golfing in the first place? Just for exercise. And the people I used to work with in golf, so I started golfing. That was too many years ago. That was like 30 years ago, more, more than, than that. More than 30 years, maybe 40 years, 50 years ago. So if you put in work, you practice golfing for 50 years, even you can be a 30 handicap. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, 30, that's generous, 30. Maybe, maybe 15. 15 handicap? Oh, yeah. That means 15 okay. plus 72, you shoot 87. Okay, 20 then. Maybe 25. 90, Keep going up. 97. What is your favorite memory golfing? My favorite memory golfing, I went golfing with my three boys. That was the most memorable and uh, most fun. You gotta be more specific than that. With my three sons, Ryan, Trevor. Wait, wait, wait. We know which oh, three, three okay. sons. We know which kids. So that's uh, the first time we went out because at that time I couldn't beat them. Oh, that was a while yeah. ago. That was a while ago. So now I have a hard time keeping up. I'm starting to think he might have three other kids that we don't know about. Uh -huh. Well, you three, one, two, three, because I get the names and mixed up still. Yet. <laughs> There's Uncle Nick Golf. And then uh, Trevor the coach. Trevor the coach. I get Ryan the tattoo artist. I used to have a dog before. What happened to your dog? Dog died. Nah, yeah, the dog died. <laughs> the dog name was Dibs. That was my three kids, um, fourth brother. Well, I wasn't even alive when that dog was alive. He was alive. Maybe. All right, we're here on hole number five, par three, and I believe this is one of his favorite holes. Yeah, I like this hole. Uh, you get downhill, so if you miss it, you'll roll on the green. You got chickens, and sometimes you get pigs come out and <laughs> greet you. So, That's the best and, part. And it's nice and breezy. Easy breezy, chicken squeezy. The one time I was playing here and I saw in this bushes here, there's a giraffe. So I think they have giraffes also. <laughs> and then, giraffes. Yeah, I heard yeah. there's rhinos. But there's a T-Rex in there. Oh! Alright, we're about 109 yards. What we see here looks like uh, about an 8 hybrid iron. Oh, 
<laughs> I interrupted his snack. Do you have a favorite golf time snack? What can I say? Rice Krispie treats. That's the best. Is it, is it because they have three um, little bakers as their mascot? No, I just like the marshmallow. Oh, okay. The marshmallow is really good. Do you have a favorite golfer? Lee Trevino, but they don't golf anymore. Oh, Lee Trevino. Do you have a way back, I used to like Chichi Rodriguez because he was kind of um, flary. Like, you mean like uh, homoerotic? No, the way he hit it. I think Lee Trevino clubs. still plays. Yeah, Lee Trevino not play already. He, he, plays, he plays on the senior tour, yeah? Senior tour. I don't know. He's got to be like 90 years old. Yeah. Do you have a favorite YouTuber? Oh, gotta be Uncle Neil. <laughs> okay. That, that's yeah. what the answer... I can splice that in to answer your first question. Yeah, because um, actually, he paid me to say that. <laughs> Uncle Nick Golf. I pay him in food. Come on, baby. No, that was me. Pig's got some butters. It's a mama pig. What's the difference between a pig and a boar? Boar is wild, I think. Wild boar. What about a wild pig? Wild pig is just a wild pig. <laughs> there you have it. This could be just a swine. Hi, babe. What's up with that? What's up with that? So look at the cooler holder. There's these little things that you might not think about, but it just makes life a little bit easier. There's this wire hanger bent. And he sticks it in the T holder. And you have to have this hook so it doesn't slide out. Bend that, that. It's precisely 27 and a half degrees. And you have the cooler. Like this. And that cooler is like 15 pounds filled of ice and towels. Got my reminder, not to forget my wallet, my phone, my keys. Got pens, I got keys. Oh, is that your phone number? Oh, your golf ID. Golf ID. <laughs> Here's something that is super unnecessary, but it makes life easier. In his cooler, he has a holder to hold his can up. So the ice, if you don't have this, the ice will fall in and you can't get this underneath. So you just jump it in. <laughs> that was good. All right, so I, I made my shot on the green. I just... Now I gotta go all the way back to get my putter. If only I could carry my putter and my... What the hell is that? I got my fishing wedge and I got my putter. Just like a saw, a sword. Okay. And I'm on my way to the green. Let's see this in action. I was just thinking, if there's a way you can carry your putter and your wedge, then you don't have to go all the way back to the cart to get your next club. I wonder, do you think... His little sword holster, his sheath is gonna weigh him not. No, it doesn't. Look at that beauty. Maybe you don't even need a putter. It's like a golf ninja. Let's talk about this belt. I see a zipper on the front of it. Yeah, there's a zip, there's a pocket. But need to put something inside here. Like, what do you put in there? What can fit in there? Oh, Medicine? Teas? Money, teas, a uh, shower cap, in case it rains. <laughs> and then what is this made of, the holster? This is a uh, cardboard thing from the inside of a plastic wrap. You know, you buy the multiple plastic wrap, the bulk. Okay, inside. like saran wrap. Then I have a, my travel belt. And I've got these twist ties. Zip ties. Zip ties and I got it angled a little bit so it will just slide right in. <laughs> How do you keep it at that at that downwards angle? This side is lower than this side. Oh I see he uses his fupa to hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know how these creative ideas come to fruition, this is him in action 
brainstorming. He wants to upgrade his wedge and putter holder. So he's thinking trial and error. That ring is way too small. Because of this, you're up with something big. So he's thinking of a ring, what, like a ring on a belt? I'll make something on the next, on the next video. But how will we ever see it? You have to subscribe oh. to the next video, after the next call, and you might see my next invention. You heard it here first. Subscribe. What's up with that? What's up with that? Be the sexiest mother on the golf course. Check out the new items in my merch store. The link will be in the description. I get shot sleeve, long sleeve, no sleeve, three-quarter sleeve. I get things for the aunties and things for the kids. You like socks? I get socks. I even enjoy my pillow. Check out the merch store. Mahalo. Also, right now in the merch store, you can be a part of history and pick up your Andy What's Up With That logo t-shirt. Check it out. That's what's up with that. All right, can you remember the best score you ever got golfing? Uh, the best score I ever got maybe was 94. And where was that? Uh, I, I think it was over here. At Westlock. At Westlock. And then now I shoot in the hundreds. I have a hard time breaking the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously you're world renowned for your creative inventions. Yep. Which is your favorite invention? Well, the one that I make use more is right here. My neck warmer. It's cool. not a warmer. Oh, I mean my neck cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a warmer. I, I don't, if you I don't know on which it. invention. Um, I get so many, I don't know which is my favorite. But the best one that I use is my tea. To find my tea. Uh, the, the tea shagger, yeah, tea picker tea. upper. When, when the tea flies, I, it doesn't fly far and easy for me to find. So I got all of my teas like this. Look at that, it looks like an Aerosmith concert. China! China! And don't get any bright ideas and steal ideas. You know who you are. Let's take a look at his equipment here. Is this a four wood? Four hybrid. It's a four hybrid. But more important, whoa, it's a one of one. It's an alternate golf club. One of a kind. I think that automatically adds 25 yards. I told my friend Peter to uh, subscribe. Did he? I don't know. But to make sure you subscribe. Peter, if you watch this video, subscribe. That's me. I'm Peter. I'm not talking about you, Peter. I'm talking about Peter. Yeah. All right, I saw this on, on a talk show. I, I don't know what it's called, rapid fire or something, where I'm just gonna ask you a question, you answer the first thing that comes to your mind. But now I gotta come up with questions really fast. But I'm eating. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, besides golf, what's your favorite activity? Watching TV. That was so not rapid, that took so long. Okay, watching TV. What is, we did your favorite snack, what's your favorite thing to drink? Water. What is your greatest flaw? Too fat. <laughs> if um, if you could teach young kids to golf, what is the one tip you would give them? Don't rush. Take your time. Do you rush or not take your time when you golf? Definitely. <laughs> and final question: Which is your favorite son? I got all three. I'm gonna edit so it says Uncle Nico. <laughs> How's this? The most daring shot in all of golf videography. Yeah, you're not gonna hit me, yeah? That was a good shot. Let's take a look at the Charles Barkley mechanics of this golf swing. We are on hole number 
13 or is this 12 13 par 4 and it goes over this little watery thing and for me my least favorite hole on the course is this your favorite least favorite middle favorite it, 17 is right yonder part three so, all right so what's gonna happen here is we're both gonna take this shot right over the water and land it where these people are that's the goal are gonna wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it where you got to meet the man the myth the legend mr lao any last words yeah don't forget to go on uh, youtube and subscribe <laughs> okay, wait, they're already on youtube oh, oh yeah you're already on youtube <laughs> <laughs> like, take two comments take two okay, any well. last things you want to say uh like and comment uncle nick's video and see you on the next one whatever i supposed to say i forgot peace and out Peace and out. Cut!